coming from You don't remember where you're coming from You don't remember where you're coming from Rastafar, I, I Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? Need you don't know, remember the days I'm when him feed you? Need you know when no obligation but you win some respect All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen. And this is another vegan recipe that is requested. Come on and let's get started. You guys are asking me to make a vegan version barbecue grill steak. I'm going to show you how I make mine on my grill at home in my kitchen. Fast, easy and simple. That is my Satan meat. I'm going to put the link below so you guys could see how I made now what else am i going to be using for this recipe vinegar barbecue sauce because of course yeah, i make barbecue marinade sauce i'm going to be using my ralph lauren country barbecue rub on my vegan meat for that extra added flavor and the garlic all-purpose season I'm also going to put the link below so you guys can go ahead on this website and order yours. Salt and black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. You're also going to need bean flour or any other flour but not all purpose flour. And that is all that you need to make this recipe. Come on, let's get started. Now, the very first thing you want to do to get this recipe started you want to make sure that you get all the water if, if you have any water in it you want to make sure you squeeze that water out meat and you just want to take your hands and you want to break it up looks until it looks pretty much like that now it's time to season and flavor your seated meat you want to put your meat into another container you're going to add some black pepper to it a little bit of salt garlic onion powder, all-purpose seasoning, and your barbecue seasoning. Pinch of vinegar, barbecue sauce, and then you add your bean flour to it. Now with clean ants, you want to go ahead and combine that until it becomes a nice firm dough. When it's formed and looks pretty much like that, I'm going to add some marinade sauce to it. I'm going to get my plastic wrap and I'm going to let this sit for a good 30 minutes. When I come back, we'll move on to our next step. Okay, now it's been 30 minutes since I've had my seed meat sitting there marinating. I'm going to go ahead and get some more of that bean flour. And then I'm going to pour my meat out on top of that. Add some more of that bean flour on top of that. And we're just going to use our fingers to get the meat nice and hard. Oh, through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on. You're going to cut it in two equal parts. You're going to get your barbecue sauce and you're going to put it on top of that. I'm going to use my spatula to lift it up and put it on top of my grill.
I hope y'all are enjoying these requested recipes. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, share, share. Let me know what you'd like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy. I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it don't simmer, a time to eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.